Around 90,000 people are diagnosed with Parkinson's disease every year, impacting a million people in the U.S. alone. And now a new t kind of technology is helping to treat it. As part of Fox 12's Health Watch, Ward Dallas has much more on how this has helped a local man. So in 2017, I was cutting a roast and I needed help. I couldn't hold the knife steady. Uh, my sister helped me, and she was, what the heck's going on with you? I went to a, my regular doctor, and she was like, yeah, it's probably stress. But it wasn't just stress. Those were the first signs of Parkinson's disease for Rob Beal. That tremor just kept getting worse and worse. His neurologist told him that while there was no cure for the disease, there was medication to help manage his tremors. My whole life was changing this whole time, and... Um, I would like to talk to people, get in front of crowds, doing auctions, and all of a sudden I couldn't. His tremors and symptoms got so bad, he decided to step away from his career of auctioneering and move to Hawaii, hoping the break would help. Third year into Maui, I was like, this isn't helping. My handwriting had gone to uh, a line. I knew what I was writing, but when I went to look at it later, it, nobody could decipher it. Even a simple game of rummy could yeah. get really tough. That's when his nurse suggested something called deep brain stimulation or DBS, a type of therapy that uses electrodes to stimulate a small part of the brain using a thin wire that runs down to a battery pack near the patient's collarbone. This type of I, I, the idea of robotics for many procedures, not outside even neurosurgery surgery in general, is, is not that new, but also very much still in development and getting better. Dr. Seth Oliveria is the director of functional neurosurgery for the Providence Brain and Spine Institute. He says the implantation procedure is done with the help of a globus robot that helps accurately place the wire in the brain. It's, a, it's like a compass versus GPS. and. Having it done just within the, the day of the surgery to 30 days later when they switched it on and within a half hour knowing that, wow, I have my life back. I can start doing what I like to do again. Beal says that while the symptoms of Parkinson's aren't completely gone and though he still has off days, the difference before and after DBS has been life changing. Instead of spending two or three days sitting on the couch and watching TV, now I'm like two or three days, I'm still out walking my dog. I'm just not real fast. It's more of a, I'm not shuffling, but it's a real slow and steady walk. Before, I wouldn't have shuffled. I would have just stayed home, felt safe, and not gone far. He's even been able to return to some of his passions. My first run at auctioneering was this summer in Rockaway Beach. I had my brother there and another good friend and they watched and made sure I didn't trip. But I went a little over an hour and then I gave the mic up to my brother and he finished off the show. Or Jalice, good day, Oregon.